Alright, <clears throat> bringing you a game of Echo Jungle. So, uh, I'm gonna just play, talk about the early game in the, in the meanwhile. Rangars usually like to get priority in lane. They don't usually like to leash, so I'm not really forcing my Rangar to do that. But it would be, in my opinion, better for Echo to start top, just because he's much better at doing like a red Raptors clear. But that's okay. Uh, Rangar also said in the chat that he like doesn't know how the Shen matchup's gonna go, so I also didn't like want to like doubly like, you know, mess him up. So I just did a blue start. My plan here is um, to just do a full clear. Uh, reason being is like I don't think I can like really rush crank top. If if things are going well for Rangar, then Rangar is probably gonna have Shen like pushed all the way. So normally I'm just used to Rangar's pushing. That's why I, I won't do that. So I'm just gonna. Uh, oh. My fast forward's like, actually, you're like here. So he ends up actually, like, dying. I guess I shouldn't skip that. Well, as, I'm, as I'm doing these, it's just really funny. Yeah, so Ranger gets so killed by the Shin, which, like, it's kind of unfortunate. Just because, like, I could look for a gank top at the end of my route if it's free. But like I said, I wasn't really expecting that, so um, it's what it is. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. So the, the next big decision I really have to make here is after I kill this thing, I noticed that, you know, my Rengar's being pushed towards the top side and he's in a losing matchup. And he's kind of like losing this this again. And so, and the canes usually almost start red. And since Kane didn't show bot, there's a high chance that he's going to be in the river. And I could tell that, like, none of my lanes have priority, right? So... I hit I hit this vision cone just to see if, if the bugs already gone the crab's already gone. It's you know oh, there's a ward, so I go to kill the ward. Only because I saw him top that, that I go for the ward. So I see him coming down with Shen, so I just I like I figure I might as well like, go for the bot crab. I see if I can get a transition gank, but they must like just communicate to him that I was coming. So there's no there's no right there's no point in like fighting for this crab or trying to sneak it just because like that was just probably gonna be like really dangerous. And honestly, the good thing is, at this point in the game, if I press tab, I'm like, I'm, I'm still already full camp ahead of the cane, so I get the bot crab, get stop camp, no harm, no foul. My bot lane is already got a kill, and they're like pushing in super ahead. So I take the crab and hit four, and I just noticed that this, the bot lane is like really diveable, and they also didn't have sums. So your boy is prepping. I was telling them to just hard shove the wave, so they're doing that. Even with them hitting levels, it is pretty free. So what I what I do here is I, I shield first, right? Then I go in. We actually they actually took the aggro for me, which is really smart of them, because they could easily dip in and out. I thought I'd have to take the aggro, so I was ready to use my flash. So I get the kill. I figure since their my bot lane's there, their bot lane's not there. I could just get these for free. So I'll go ahead and just do that. So I do that and then I base. So I'm just gonna fast forward. So the reason why I base here instead of go for my camps, which have just spawned, is because I'm looking to, like I said, the, in the, my focus in this season, especially at the current meta, is to just like play around bot lane as most, most, most as I can. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to base with all the gold that I have, buy, and then clear my bot camps and gank bot. So what I'm looking to do is just beat the ever living hell out of bot lane because like at this point also right like top lane's going triple d blade and like he's not a winning condition especially because he doesn't like a he probably doesn't really know what he's doing and b like it's just you know shutting down and shutting down that big of a deal um so anyway all right kill this oh i go in for gank bot that's pink and i have i have a scanner so i know that we are Gucci. Since they backed up in their full health, I just figured I'd go ahead and start the, the dragon. So I hit I hit the, the, the blast cone too, so I just can't get in. I'm spam pinging my bot lane to do this, I think. Yeah, I, I ping my bot lane to do this. They don't come. So I was feeling like a little nervous because like Echo's not the best like solo dragon champion, but be okay. So now that I've got the dragon, which is like we're we're playing League of Dragons right now, I have a blue up so I can like conveniently go for that, or I can like the game bot lane, right? 
And their bot lane was just playing like really far back, so I didn't want to like go in on that, which uh, was kind of a mistake. I didn't really like predict like where I thought the cane was gonna go, but I stopped doing the blue buff to see if I can like try to save my Jin right. I threw the, I threw the Q like where I thought he'd be running, but it was a little off. Not that I like I really could have saved him realistically, so it's kind of unfortunate. But at the same time, like the Shen got the kill, so he got the big shot down gold, and my mid laner got a solo kill. So all things considered, it's pretty good. So what I'm, what I'm doing here, just going to finish out my buff. Like, if you've noticed, like, since my first clear, like, I just haven't been back to the top side of the map. Because there's just no there's just no need to do it. Like, I should just be helping my bot lane get ahead, and I should be getting dragons. So, I'm clearing my camp for one more. And just like so you have an idea of how much gold I'm on right now. Like I also have like camp lead on this guy and I'm on eight hundred twenty four like twenty seven gold. So like if I did base I like wouldn't have enough runic echoes right now, so that's why I didn't base after the blue buff when I was half health. And obviously like we're controlling the vision on the bot side. And my bot's pushing in. And I know that the, that you know that uh the cane's probably like not gonna be in the bot side since those were like where the last camps were. So he's actually basing to Go back and clear top. So I scan here. Bot lane starts a fight, which is like great because I'm already in the like, in the neighborhood. They don't really need me, honestly. But I do force the Lulu to flash to avoid the stun. I force the ult, but not that big of a deal. Good trade, ult for stun or ult for flash. Also, the cane lost a lot of pacing because he like stopped the support to just like stop me from like potentially diving. So we're just gonna fast forward here. So after I go to base, like there's not there's nothing left on the bot side at the moment, like just because like Lulu's probably gonna like reset after, or I'm also thinking to myself that like I should grab the red buff obviously, and that there's no dragon bot side. So this is just kind of like a good time to go to the top side of the map. Like should I decide to go to the top side of the map? So I'm just gonna fast forward. Oops, I just fast forward a lot like, too much. The the times eight speed is just crazy. So I do a full clear. And then at this point, like the bot, the bot turret's getting like really close to the bot frost getting the first turret, and my my bot camps are like, coming up. But like the first thing I want to do before I start to clear is because I just killed those those three camps. So I want to look to see if I can make a play. And since we just got the the bottom turret, like I would assume that the the bot lane is going to be coming back to the lane. So that's why I'm kind of looking for a cheeky gank here, because then I try to catch my bot lane on a reset. But that doesn't look like that was a possibility. Our mid laner dies, so I come here to to cover the wave and kill this guy. I flash that like a fucking god. We'll watch that again, just because how how good I am. Wait, did I go back too far? No. Okay, he's dead. Here, fast forward. Watch watch how good I am. He goes to Tommy, boom, flash that. So I style on him. So because like my my dick is so big right now, I'm just like I'm just feeling confident that I could like outplay this guy and kill him. I gotta stop my ultimate, so but unfortunately I uh let the hubris get the better of me. Your boy goes down. Anyway, fast forward a bit. A bunch of like shenanigans happens mid lane. This goes on for quite some time. I'm just gonna keep fast forwarding. So I respawn and like dragons coming up soon. So while my team's just like f fighting it out mid lane, I just decided I'm gonna like go and get the dragon. Right? Like I said, this, the mid stuff just shit went for a long time. So we go and get the dragon. Dude, I was so pissed because like my team's just mid the entire time and they're just like refused to go. Like like if you see this like. Yeah, this is just classic solo queue. This is me ranting for a little bit. So I start the dragon, right? My team, like, I'm spam pinging, right? Like, three pings right here. And my team's pushing. Look at this priority my team has made. And, like, no one no one comes, okay? So I actually have to ult to, like, get enough health back so I don't die. Just no one wanted to come. So it actually it was really scary. The the health is bugged, but it pretty much came up to a 50-50 smite, and I got it. And then he does kill me because people on my team just refuse to help me dragon. Classic diamond players. And then for the rest of the game at this point, we're just like so far ahead. 
I mean, I guess we're not so far right because the kills are going crazy, but we're up like 6k gold. We got the objectives. Like, so our bot, our bot lane going back to bot lane is like not the best macro decision, but it's like not too big of a deal. For, in, in my perspective now, like, right, I got the two dragons, so I, I want to like focus on getting the Rift Herald. So I need like the bot lane to leave the bot lane and actually rotate, which they do. So we'll, uh, I don't know if there's much more to really say about this game. It's not much longer because they end up forfeiting. I think we end up, like, I end up picking a kill somewhere. Oh, yeah. They tried to gank our, they tried to gank top. They tried to gank top. And then we took turn situation. Meanwhile... Yeah, we got this. Yeah, there's not much to show. I'm just gonna end the video here. So, and, and just like, just what I wanted to show with this video though is like, if you noticed, I just didn't like even go towards the top camps. I, I I did a full clear in the beginning, and the only other I only went top lane one other time, which was after the dragon was already dead. My red buff has respawned, so I tried to just loop bot lane, and it's, it was really fortunate because like I also was able to steal some of Kane's camps. So like I was basically always like cycling camps, doing dragon, doing a gank successfully. So in a game like this, this is like really ideal because it's like everything's just flowing. Like I'm farming camps, I get a gank, get a kill, great. Then I like base, like get, get, you know, go gank, get a kill, dragon. And like I'm just constantly looping bot lane, and we're just in League of Dragons. So in general, this is like how I try to play the the jungle now. Is just like really bot centric. Like it doesn't always happen, obviously, as as like ideal as this one. But this wasn't like a particularly crazy game. Like I didn't get like crazy fed like i'm 322 and like our team's not like crazy kills ahead like we got the objectives but that's because like in my opinion like the way i was playing the game like of only camping bot lane and like trying to get dragons on spawn and like you know rotating to rift and like all these things so yeah i'll leave it at that